masonry block retaining wall creator option in 12d you can find this in in version 14 now this is the second video that I'm showing um, how to how to use this option and so it's going to go a little bit quicker because um, we've covered some of the more basic stuff in the previous video so if you haven't seen that one um, yeah go back and, and have a look at that one so the options under design tunnels and structures and masonry block retaining wall and this is the panel that opens and we just need to go and select a style here and I'm going to pick this this type 2 with the batter and this one's got a key as opposed to the to the one I ran in the previous video just to show something different and again this is running um, from a, a standard file that gets shipped with 12d and it's in the setups area there's a wall definition file that sets all the all the parameters for the wall sizes based on the height all right so this option here um, I'm going to show you is is the method that is used um, where you select the tins option so you select your top tin and your bottom tin and the walls created between those two tins so we just select tins in the option here that's all we need there again similar to the first video we just need to select a set out string for the wall now I don't have a set out string as yet so I'm just going to draw one uh, in this retaining wall set out model and the, the string name is going to be just RW1 so simply just off the CAD toolbar just going to draw a line string here just literally just pick, pick some um, points on the screen just some random sort of points we'll come down 90 degrees there we'll turn roughly at 45 and then finish off on a bit of a straight here and just quit out that one so that's going to be the position of my wall and that's going to be my set out string so again it, it, it just it needs to be a super string it can't be a super alignment at, at the moment and the levels it doesn't have to have levels and the levels aren't used on the set out string at all just purely just gives it a position for the wall so if you click on the little picker there and select the set out string um, again similar to to the other uh, video that I showed you can have the footing on the left or the right and and again this this option here that I've selected has got a key in it in the definition so let's say we'll put this one on the left uh, and I'm just going to put a, a negative clearance in there which will position the wall sort of the set out string will be in the center of that wall it's a 200 200 mil wide blocks they're going to be used so the wall the set out string will sit in the middle of that which is 100 mil the two tins um, I've got some tins in this project existing tin um, I'm going to pick is, is the bottom I've got a, a bottom tin that I've created and the new surface um, I've got a tin called top and just before I run that I'll just profile this string here that I've selected and just add those two tins um, top and bottom tin and fit the view yeah so there's my top tin that I've got there and there's my bottom tin sort of sloping down as, as we go so as we go along the wall we'll obviously get get taller and the footing will get bigger all right so we've got our two tins we've selected we've got our set out string and that's all we need in that tab at this point and again we've got the outputs tab and the only thing I sell change there would we, just some the, the string colors here we'll make that yellow and we'll change that to magenta just to make it a bit easier to see again this subsoil op, um, part of the the panel is is still in development and hasn't come alive yet all right that's all we need there so if we just hit process yep we get a green bar saying it, it's it's um it's created some tri meshes so we'll pop that down there 
and let's maybe have a look at the section view here so if I just add those the models here to the cross section view and there's my wall in cross section just maximize that to make it a bit easier to see and if I add the two tins to this view as well just so you can see so there's my bottom tin and my top tins hiding there looks like under RL10 yeah there's my tin top yeah and there's there's the the strings that have been created again similar to the previous video that I that I've um, uh, that I've done that will just use a string this option uses the tin the two tins and again it's creating a, a solid tr a tri mesh for, for the wall and the footing and you can see the key there has been generated and we're also getting the yellow wall strings that have been numbered or that have been named for us and we're also getting strings at the footing sort of corners as well all right so that's a cross section um, again we, we can add the the strings um, and and also the tri mesh to the plan view and let's just add it to the section maybe just the strings to the section to the long section view yeah so then you can see the wall strings um, yeah being fairly constant through here and sort of stepping down because it's a little bit lower and then back, stepping back up and you can see the the footing strings here sort of getting deeper and deeper and and, and thicker as well as we as the wall gets gets taller and let's just go to the 3d view and let's add those models to the 3d view and I've got the tin on there let's just make that uh, tin mesh that might be a bit easier to see so I've just got the top tin on here you can see the top tin there it's been drawn as a mesh and you can see the the wars been generated there Yeah, let's just maybe maximise that view there, make it a bit easier to see. Yeah, so you can see here um, the wall's been also there's just under the tin there. The wall's the wall's been created with that key sort of sitting there under the wall. And as we come down it's fairly level through that section there so it's there's no steps in the top or the bottom so as we go to the to the to the back of the wall there where it gets taller you can see the the, the keys sort of getting a bit deeper through there yeah maybe even there's the top of the wall sort of stepping down as as needed and maybe let's just turn off the top and turn on the bottom just so you can see how that's how that's sitting in relation to the bottom tin yes yeah, so you can see on this side that the footing's getting quite wide because the wall's getting quite quite tall through there yeah so not a not a bad little tool um, and it's just created that literally click of a button um, yeah so um, just wanted to show you that now again that was using the the tins option and again if we want to sort of uh, use this panel again at a later time we can write a parameter file and I can just call this method spell it correctly method two and just go write that's going to write a a parameter file in my working directory that i can recall at a later date if i want to 
it will essentially I load that file and it will just populate this panel as I left it so I can finish on that one and then next time I come in come to design tunnels and structures and masonry block retaining go straight to my parameter file you can see the one I created for the previous video and this one was method 2 uh, here for this one and I can just go read and it will populate this panel exactly as I filled it out okay um, yeah I guess that's all I had for, for this video um, the next video I'm going to show is how we can um, yeah change these values here uh, to, to, to your own sort of customized wall types alright thanks for watching and bye for now